Hello vlog and welcome back to my room, my house, everything back in Georgia. Hey y'all, it's Katie and this is my first vlog officially back like in my house. This is a little weird, but it feels so good to be back home. The last few weeks since I've been home has been spent so much time with just family, friends. I went on vacation for Thanksgiving, which was on my Instagram and my TikTok, but I'm back. And this is our first like daily vlog back in my house. I just went to Target and I needed to get a lot of restock products of like toiletries and stuff. I needed a new SD card for my camera. If you don't know, basically one of these little things goes in your camera and this holds all the footage. How you're able to see this video is because of one of these and I ran out of storage on this one. I have 128 gigs, which is a lot of storage. So it was bound to run out finally. But I thought that I could vlog in Target if I just bought another one, but I'll just insert the clips in. Y'all, I literally brought my camera into Target so that I could use the SD card that I'm gonna buy in Target and I didn't know that they're locked up. Like, I can't use this now until I buy it. I was gonna buy it either way, but like I really wanted to use it so I could vlog for you in Target, but I guess not. Look how festive though. All the Christmas stuff. Look how cute these are. They're so adorable. I like the little one. <laughs> now this is called Be Good Adult. I don't really notice a difference with mascara, so I like always get new ones. I really like these two though. I've used them for a while. And telescopic. I think that's down there. <laughs> this is the one that I'm using right now, but I think I'm gonna get these two. Add them to the best. So I'm back, obviously the new SD card is in my camera and we're gonna do a little Target haul because I used to do these all the time. I love hauls, I think they're so fun. So first thing I got was some new shampoo and conditioner. I literally don't know what shampoo and conditioner is good. I feel like every time I go to buy new ones, I just buy whatever I think looks fun. So I bought this one from Dove. It looks pretty, it comes with both the shampoo and conditioner in it. I didn't even read what it says. It says for dry hair, whatever, I don't know. Somebody tell me what's good because I have no idea. Then I bought another Tea Tree Hut scrub, I love of these. This is so good for exfoliating before you shave your legs. I use this every single time I shave and I haven't shaved my legs <laughs> in probably two or three weeks. So this is gonna be so good to use tonight and I'm very excited. Also my favorite scent is coconut lime. I love coconut. Mmm, smells so good. Also, I'm sorry I'm so stuffy. I've been sick for the past since I got home. It's really bad. But I finally feel enough better to film. Like I was on my deathbed for a very long time, but I feel better now. Then I got just some moisturizer, CeraVe. I've been using this for a really long time and I ran out. You guys saw I got new mascara, Maybelline. This one is Colossal. I never really hear anyone talk about this one, but I really like it. I think it does a good job because it has like this little brush right here so it like can get in there and curl. I don't know. My eyelashes are very short right now. It makes me sad. Toothbrush. Needed a new one. I also ran out of my e.l.f. brow gel and I use this every single day. I remember when this was a dollar at Target and now it's $3. Dang elf. Then I got this little baby dry shampoo because I'm literally always traveling and I always need travel size products. And the last thing that I got was ridiculous, but I got it because I really loved it. And it's this calendar for 2023. I always have a calendar. I thought this one was just so pretty. You can either hang it on a wall or like put it on a desk, but it's really big and it was only $5. And I've bought these calendars before for like $25. So the dollar section got me in Target and this is what I came out with. But I really like it and I think it's so cute. Yeah, that's my Target haul. It's like 1.30 now though and my mom Mom and I are actually supposed to be going to a movie and I haven't gone to a movie in forever but she has like this movie pass where she can go see movies during the week for like really cheap so she's like you want to go see a movie and I'm like sure so Carrie and I are going on a mini date but I'm so hungry so we're gonna go eat cuz I need to eat something today I'm definitely not the only one like this but I'm such a snacker like I would so much rather eat snacks than a meal and I know it's not the best thing but if I'm eating I'm eating so it is what it is but I've been obsessed with making like little snack plates there's this girl on TikTok who literally makes makes like little snack plates and I'm obsessed with her. Let's make our own. Green apple, love these. So obsessed with them right now. It's like my new hyper fixation. Look, I'm a chef, just kidding. I'm not very good at cutting things, but I'm trying to get better. I've been practicing cutting on my green apples cause it's what I'm obsessed with right now. So just gonna cut this in a little slices. Uh oh, I never said I was good at it, but I'm trying. There we go. And for some reason, I'm obsessed with like these little turkey bites. I've been eating them forever. Like my mom has always bought them, but they're so good cause it's good protein. And I have a hard time like getting my protein in. So I love these. Are you okay? It hit you. I decided to hit, try to get in my lane and I'm like getting off onto, t onto exit 10. Carrie almost got into a car accident, but she's okay now. We're all good. But here's my finished snack plate. Apples, cheese, crackers, and turkey bites. Yummy. Well, I just had more packages get delivered, so another haul. I ordered 
a bunch of books for Black Friday and this is the last one to come in. I got the other three already. This is just a really cute Christmas book. I haven't read any like holiday themed books and I feel like I might as well read a Christmas book in December. One Day in December, a novel by Josie Silver. This is what I ordered and it's just really cute. I love the covers and I love like how they feel. All the books that I always read are linked to my Amazon storefront down below if you want to get any of them. Hopefully this will be good and I'll let you guys know. I have so many books to read because I keep buying books. I have six books that I need to read now. Six. And then I ordered Grande Lash. I used to use this before and it made my eyelashes so long. And again, they had a sale for Black Friday. And I just told you my eyelashes are so short because I have a problem where I get stressed and anxious and I rip my eyelashes out. I don't know why I do it. It's a terrible habit. I decided I'm going to try and use this again and see if it works. It's so freaking expensive. So that's why I bought it on Black Friday. I think normally if you don't, it's like 70 or $80, which is ridiculous. But for Black Friday, I think I got it for 50 So at least it was a good deal. But yeah, this is like supposed to help you grow your eyelashes long. I'm gonna try it because mine are little baby nubbies right now and it makes me so sad. I like love the holiday season because I love gift giving and I very rarely buy things for myself, like physical items. Like I buy myself like necessities, like toiletries and stuff, but I don't really buy myself anything. So I think it's cool that like I got to splurge on myself for Black Friday a little bit. I bought this and then I bought the books and then, oh, I bought a new charger. <laughs> yeah, that's me splurging for myself. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel bad and guilty whenever I buy things for myself, which I know I shouldn't because I work hard for it, but I would so much rather buy stuff for other people. I'm so obsessed with this calendar. I think it's so pretty. And if you guys didn't know, my birthday is actually in January on the 23rd. Oh, it's on a Monday. But I just think it's so crazy that it's already 2023. Like 2022 flew by for me. Maybe I'm the only one, but I felt like it went by so freaking fast and I had so many amazing opportunities this year. I don't know. I'm just so excited to see what 2023 has in store. I don't know if I want to take this out the paper yet because I want to write on it. I want to write my birthday on it, but I feel like it's a bad idea if I take it out yet. Maybe it's like jinxing it. It's bad luck. You can't write on it till the new year. It's still November. Why am I like this? She's just gonna live on my desk for right now, right there. Guys, look at this book collection. <laughs> it's ridiculous how many books are in this stack right now. Like, I need to slow down on the reading. Like, I think I read too much. Y'all see this mess of a room? It's so bad. I just cracked open a cold Alani New. This is my favorite flavor, which is brew. So good. And I'm gonna deal with all this. <laughs> My dad thought it'd be hilarious to put like a piece of the sofa from our living room in my room So now I just have like this extra little couch and it holds all my stuffed animals It's really annoying because I can never open my closet door I guess it's just living in here for now. It looks like there's no clothes here anymore, but there definitely is they're clean They just need to be put away Ugh. Socks and undies go in here t-shirts go in here <laughs> Shorts go in this drawer and sweatshirts go in the sweatshirt closet. Oh, there's no space. If you've been following along with me, you know I've been in my journaling era and it has honestly been so amazing for me. Like I freaking love journaling and I have all my colored pins, but I'm going to journal and I'm going to hopefully inspire one of you guys, hopefully just one of y'all, to do the same thing. And today we are going to be writing our grateful for list. Things that you are grateful for because there is so much to be thankful for in our lives and I think oftentimes we get caught up on the little things that bother us or that we think are so huge in the moment. But I promise whatever you're going through right now, is it going to matter in two minutes? Probably. Is it going to matter in two hours? Maybe. But is it going to matter in two years? No. So let's write down the things that we are grateful for every single day. Every single day that you get to wake up on this earth is something to be thankful for. So that's what I'm gonna write. It's gonna put me in a better mood and I hope it's gonna put you in a better mood. So I'm grateful for. And the best part about this is that you can go back and add to this list whenever you feel like th this list never has to end ever, ever. If you don't want this list to end, it never has to end because I can tell you that there are so many things to be grateful for. It doesn't ever have to end. First thing that I'm gonna write on this list is y'all, I'm grateful for my supporters. And you don't have to put why, you can if you want to, but I'm just gonna make a list because in my head, I know why I'm grateful for y'all. Number two, I'm gonna put my health and I'm just gonna keep adding to this list. Family, friends, my doggos. And this list is gonna keep growing and it's gonna grow forever and ever and ever. This is just the beginning of it. So I'm gonna take the next few minutes to journal and I hope that I inspire one of y'all to do the same thing. And mind you, it doesn't even have to be a journal. It can be a scrap piece of paper and a pencil from the fourth grade. Just write down 
what you're grateful for. I just built up the front half of this page and I kept going and I think this list is hilarious so far. So far on the back of the page, I have cookies, hugs, singing, Christmas lights, a good nap, ice, Powerade, strictly the blue one, good mascara days. There is so much to be grateful for, even the little things, I promise. Did you walk the dogs? <laughs> yes, I walked them. Why are you filming me? Get I'm, out of my face. I'm thankful for you. Ah, he just said he's not thankful for me. <laughs> Bye, doggies. We're gonna go see a movie. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mel. Well, my mom and I are back from the movie. We went to see The Menu, which I really thought was just like a horror movie based on like cooking, but it was very interesting. Kind of weird. I would rate it like a five out of 10. I think the production was really well done, but the actual movie, how it ends and just everything behind it, it's just confusing. So I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it was fun to go to a movie with my mom. It's now 6.15. We were supposed to go see it at 1.15, but we missed the time for it. So we went to see it at four. Yeah, that was fun. My mom literally goes and sees movies like by herself all the time because she has like that little app thing. She can go see unlimited movies every single month if she wants to because she pays for it monthly. So we'll definitely be doing that again together. I'm home now. I can't wait to shower because y'all like I haven't watched my hair in five days. <laughs> I shouldn't be telling you that because it's madly disgusting, but I'm so excited to take like a full body shower tonight. Like hair wash, fully shave, exfoliate. I'm so excited. It's gonna be amazing. My room is all clean. I'm gonna read my book tonight. Like it's just gonna be such a relaxing night and I'm very excited about it. But I just wanna say thank you guys for coming along with me today. I know this vlog was kind of random, but I missed just like chill long vlogs of just me talking to y'all. I didn't even realize, but all my videos recently have been so short, like eight, or nine minutes all of them and that's not me I like to talk too much I feel like I talk way too much for my videos to only be eight or nine minutes so let me know if you prefer the long vlogs I know some people prefer short I prefer long because when I watch it it's like a mini movie and I love it so let me know what you prefer also don't forget to follow all my socials they're all just at Katie underscore McKenzie I've been very active on my Instagram and my TikTok and I'm gonna be more active on YouTube I know I've been slacking but I was sick so like give me a break it's okay <laughs> but I love you thank you so much for watching this video I had a great day this is the first day that I've actually gotten out of bed and like did stuff just because I've been feeling like that. So thanks for joining me. I love you very much and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to always smile, be kind, and love one another and yourself. Always yourself. Okay, bye guys. Mwah.